डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शोभा बंसीवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इंग्लिश एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज भीम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द पोईम ओ टू द वेस्ट विन विच इज रिटर्न बाय परसी बेस सैली इन दिस पोईम सैली एक्सप्रेस इज हिज रेवल्यूशनरी थॉट्स फर्स्ट आई रीड द टेक्स्ट ओ वाइल्ड वेस्ट विन दो ब्रैथ ऑफ ऑटम्स विंग दो फ्रॉम हुज अनसीन प्रेजेंस द लीव्स डेट आर ड्राइवन लाइक गॉस्ट फ्रॉम एन एंजेंटर फ्लिंग येल्लो एंड ब्लैक एंड पेल एंड हैक्टिक रेड पेस्टिलेंस स्ट्राइक एंड मल्टीट्यूड्स इन दिस स्टेंजा द पोइट अड्रेस इज वेस्ट विंड एज वाइल्ड एंड एज द ब्रेथ ऑफ ऑटम्स बींग बिकॉज वेस्ट विंड इज द लाइफ गिविंग फोर्स ऑफ ऑटम ड्यूरिंग द ऑटम सीजन द लीव्स फॉल फ्रॉम द ब्रांचेज ऑफ द ट्रीज दिस सैली एक्सप्रेस इज दिस सिचुएशन इन दिस पोईम इन दिस स्टेंजा द पोईट कंपेयर्स the west wind to a magician just as a magician uh, through his magic drives away ghosts uh, before him in the same way the west wind drives away uh, the uh, the withered leaves before it uh, these withered leaves are of various colors like yellow black pale and hectic red and uh, they are multitudes of uh, these uh, withered leaves and it seems as if uh, all these leaves are stricken by some uh, pestilence o do who charioteest to their dark wintry bed the winged seeds where they lie cold and low each like a corpse within its grave Until thine azure sister of the spring shall blow her clarion over the dreaming earth and fill uh, with living hues and odors plain and hill. The the west wind uh, drives the west wind carries the seeds to uh, to their wintry beds. Uh, here the poet wants to say that. Uh, in the autumn season when the west wind blows it scatters uh, seeds here and there and um, and covers them with um, earth and these uh, seeds lie beneath the earth uh, cold and low just as a dead body or corpse uh, lies um, in in its grave in the same way uh, these uh, these seeds um, keep on lying uh, under earth cold and low <coughs> and these seeds are keep on lying there until the <coughs> spring season comes and blows her clarion here the poet uh, calls spring season uh, the sister of autumn uh, and in uh, during the spring season when uh, when the there is a uh, rain <coughs> and during the spring season when there is rain uh, the these seeds sprout into plants and uh, <coughs> and uh, they bloom flowers on these plants and uh, the whole valleys and the whole plains and hills uh, are filled with uh, different various colors uh, the colors of these flowers and uh, and fragrant smell the birds which um, grow out of these plants it seems as if uh, the poet compares these birds to uh, flocks which um, which graze in the plains uh, in the same way the poet says that uh, these uh, birds um, come out of these plants uh, the flowers of these plants um, to these birds come out of these plants to feed in the air wild spirit which art moving everywhere destroyer and preserver here oh here 
uh, in these lines the poet uh, calls west wind as wild spirit <coughs> which is moving everywhere uh, it means the west wind is blowing everywhere and it he calls west wind a destroyer and a preserver the the west wind is a destroyer of the dead leaves and it is the preserver of uh, the seeds <coughs> Uh, here uh, i want to tell you that uh, sally was a revolutionary poet uh, he was not content with the existing state of affairs uh, and he wanted to change uh, the existing modes of life and conventions and <coughs> customs uh, so uh, the west wind here uh, is a sim is a symbol of the destroyer of the old order of things and a preserver of the uh, new modes of life though on whose stream mid the steep skies commotion loose clouds like earth's decaying leaves are said shook from the tangled boughs of heaven and ocean angels of rain and lightning there are spread on the blue surface of thine airy surge like the bright hair uplifted from the head of some fire smeared even from the dim verge of the horizon to the zenith height the locks of the approaching storm um, in these lines the poet uh, presents the activities of west wind on uh, in the sky uh, in the sky uh, the clouds float on the surface the airy surface of the west wind uh, here the poet uh, uh, imagines a tree uh, whose branches are in the ocean and who uh, whose are whose roots are in the ocean and whose branches are in uh, in the sky and the poet imagines that um, just as uh, leaves uh, dried leaves fall from the branches of the tree in real life uh, the clouds fall from the branches of this imaginary tree and these clouds uh, fall on the surface of the uh, west wind uh, these clouds are the angels of rain and lightning it means uh, the uh, they bring rain and lightning uh, they are spread on the blue surface of thine airy surge like the bright hair uplifted from the head of some fire's minute uh, these uh, clouds uh, which are dark and these uh, clouds um, seems um, like the bright hair uh, which are uplifted from the head of some uh, votary of bacchus bacchus is the god of wine uh, so the poet uh, compares these uh, clouds to the hair of uh, some frenzied uh, woman who is the devote who is devoted to the god of uh, wine it means uh, to bacchus Uh, f- even from the dim verge of the horizon to the zenith height these clouds are spread uh, from the horizon to the uh, uh, highest um, point in the sky the locks of the approaching storm uh, though uh, the the poet uh, says that um, in autumn season uh, there is often uh, storms and the clouds during that time are very uh, black are black and they are scattered uh, from uh, horizon to the um, zenith in the sky though dust of the dying year to which this closing night will be the doom of a vast sepulcher here the poet um uh calls uh, the addresses the west wind as the dust of the dying year uh he imagines um 
he personifies year um, and uh, he says that the year is dying and the sound which is created during autumn season the sound of the west wind is the dirge uh, sung on the death of the year uh, to which this closing night will be the dome of a vast sepulcher and um, and uh, uh, west wind and this night uh, will be a dome which is 